Groot admitted she slapped the six-month-old girl. Fox that's mean that the babysitter did slap the baby girl and abused the baby girl. Alex Boyer is at the Crandall Police Department right now with reaction from the baby's family. Alex. Well, Steve, I just got a hold of that incident report a short time ago, and reading through it, I can tell you that DeGroote told responding officers that she had been up half the night and that the baby started crying. She told the officers that she just... The baby probably was crying because she probably wants a tansen, hungry, red diaper, a poopy diaper she has lost it and hit the baby, adding that she probably hit her hard. Well, tonight, the child's family... Well, that's mean. And, well, if, when the baby goes to bed, you should go to bed, too. He is speaking out in hopes that other parents will be a bit more cautious when choosing a babysitter. Parker Stroman loves playing with her cousin. The six-month-old is now temporarily spending weekdays with her aunt. After Parker... Let's do that. Let the Parker is with her aunt and not the babysitter. Parker's babysitter allegedly slapped her across the face. I got a call from my sister-in-law. Plus, she slapped her in the face. Come on. Last Tuesday, asking, freaking out, asking me if I'd go pick up my niece, that something was wrong. Parker's aunt, who asked that we not show her face or identify her by name, rushed to pick up Parker since her sister-in-law couldn't leave work. She arrived at babysitter Tiffany DeGroote's home to find Parker's face puffy and red. I said, what were you thinking? And she said, I wasn't. And she... The babysitter should just think before she did it because she was... Then she wanted to be doing that to Mr. Parker. Apologized several times. Parker's aunt says she took these photographs with her cell phone minutes after. See, I'm telling you, she should have seen what she did. After she got to the Groot's home, and I immediately called paramedic because I had no clue if she'd been shaken, how hard. That's just she called them. Just make sure the baby's okay, so he, he won't. They could find out that she was sick and all in the nail. She'd been hit, if she was suffering any kind of anything to the head. Parker's aunt also called Crandall Police. Chief Billy Kilgore says... The That's the other she called the police too, the aunt did. Groot admitted to striking the child. Just said she was going through a lot of uh, personal issues, financial problems. Come on, don't take it off, off on the baby. Things of that sort. So, and did she seem remorseful about it? She did. DeGroote lives just a couple of blocks away from the family's home, so we stopped by here to see if she had anything to say about the allegations against her. No one came to the door, so I also called and texted her. But as of right now, we have yet to hear back. Parker's. If she probably ran away or uh, goes somewhere else that you couldn't find her because she knows she she was in trouble. But then, why she done to let the partner? Mom wanted to speak with us as well, but couldn't miss work today. That's why her sister-in-law is speaking on her behalf. Why speak out? Just to make people aware that, you know, be very careful about who you leave your, your babies with. Parker Zant says the family found DeGroot through a mutual friend who recommended her. DeGroot had babysat for the friend before, so Parker's mom thought she'd be safe in her care. Now she's not sure who she can trust. And now she's skeptical about where she's going to take my niece, you know, from here on out. And Parker's family tonight is really asking that other parents do a very thorough background check. I can tell you that tonight... Yeah, they should do the background check on whoever watches the kids. DeGroote is charged with felony injury to a child. Parker, meanwhile, did suffer some ruptured blood vessels around her eyes, but her family tells me that she's expected to be okay. All right, back that's, to you. That's good news. Yeah, that's good news that she'd be all right. News, Alex, tell me about this babysitter, uh, licensed daycare worker. What, what does she have in her background? 
Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. We actually asked the department, uh, Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, and they don't show that DeGroote has ever been licensed as a child. He should um, not be watching the other kid. He, he, she's not a licensed person to watch any kid care provider, but it's important to point out that a person is only required to obtain a license if they're going to care for three or more children who are not related to them on a regular basis, and in this case, it doesn't appear that that was the case. Now, we also did our own background check on DeGroot, and we also did not find any other instances related to abuse filed against her. A babysitter's